what did you tell your team at halftime to keep the momentum going and make sure that you were going to stay on top? Yeah, well, you know, we just talked about how they were sitting with a lot of players behind the ball and just making it difficult and frustrating us. Um, and just to just keep moving the ball and be patient and wait until we, you know, wait for the right times to look to get in behind them. Um, I think any time a team comes out and defends in a low block like that, they're looking to, to sort of stifle you and frustrate you and then hit you on the counter attack. So um, just talked about ball movement, continuing to believe in who we were as a team and, and playing in a one and two touch rhythm. And then when we have the opportunities to, to look to combine, to get in behind them and then, uh, and then get, you know, balls in the box like we did multiple times in the second half and didn't really capitalize on three or four big chances um, until Molly Baker obviously got in 1v1 with the goalkeeper and had a tremendous finish for our winning goal. So I'm just really pleased. Um, this is not a typical SEC game. Um, it's usually a lot more frantic and transitional. So it was just good to see the girls be able to continue to believe um, and play against different styles. So after Kentucky scored first, how did you improve your defense to make sure that you held them off for the rest of the half? Yeah, you know, we're a little frustrated at the moment in terms of uh, conceding goals on corner kicks. Um, so we just made a couple of little tactical adjustments in terms of uh, in terms of just positioning with certain players in, in different zones. And uh, we just talked a little bit about a mentality, like we've got to, we've got to be a little hungrier when the ball's coming into our box and defend it with a little bit more of a gritty mentality. Um, but, you know, obviously we, we conceded another one. You know, similar sort of goal after the half time whistle, and um, I'm just, you know, honestly, we can we can choose to reflect on that, but for me, it's just about the response we're showing consistently, time and time again, at the moment as a team, we can overcome adversity and and find ways to grind out results, and and we got one another one today. So the defense looked really good towards the end of the game. How proud were you of them to like of uh, like their grit and their just their uh, focused all throughout the last. Minutes. Yeah, you know, I think we only gave up four shots in the second half and a couple of those were from, you know, really deep positions. So I think that the defense is, uh, has been working so hard and collectively as a unit doing really good things. Um, and I think we're limiting, we limited Kentucky today who have some very, very dangerous players across the attack in third to, to half chances outside of maybe their two or three moments where they're creating things off of big balls in the box. So now you guys are heading on the road again. How are you guys going to prepare and be ready for Texas A&M? Yeah, well, preparation doesn't change. You know, what we've been doing all season long is uh, just making sure that we're focusing on, you know, who we are as a team. And then obviously we've got to look at the opponent and see what, what things they're going to bring to the table. Um, but for us, it's just about business as usual. And it's Texas A&M up, up next and then Alabama, you know, shortly after. And, it's a big week for us, and if we can get some results this week, I think we're going to put ourselves in a position where we could compete um, for the SEC Championship. So, Yeah, I think each week we obviously don't know what to expect going into the game, so we do a lot of scout. The coaches do a lot of work behind the scenes, and they just dig deep into what they're like as a team and what their identity is. And then each week we, we just focus on their strengths, their weaknesses, how we can combat their strengths and really take advantage of their weaknesses, and I think we did a good job of that today. After Kentucky scored the first goal, what did coach tell you guys to just like stay relaxed and focus and make sure that they don't score another one? Yeah, I mean, just gain territory on them really. Stay confident. We've got so much time left. It's annoying that we give up a, a silly little goal like that, but there's, there's things we're going to continue to work on and improve on the training field. But yeah, just stay composed, stay relaxed, stick to the game plan because I think they scored maybe 15, 20 minutes in. So we've got a good 70 minutes left to go and we just showed we can obviously use that time really well. So towards the second half, towards the end, the defense played really, really good. Thanks. What do you think, like, do you think it was just like y'all just making sure that you just couldn't let Kentucky score? You just knew that you had, you just knew that y'all were going to win. You just like, what do y'all? Yeah, I think on? there's a lot of belief in this team. When we do face adversity and we do go behind or if we are winning, then, then they tie it back up. I think there's so much belief in this team and the coaching staff and all the support staff that we will come back and win because there's so much fight in us and obviously being a defender we've just got to do our job in the back line and, and try and keep them out and I think in the last in the last 40 minutes of that of that game we did that. So going into Thursday's game against Texas A&M what is your mindset going to be uh, facing another SEC opponent? Mm -hmm. Yeah just going confident, going really prepared which we always do because the, the coaching staff do a great job of that but also just being aggressive. The SEC is known for being the bully league, so we're going to step foot on that field and really take it to them, be aggressive and, and know that we can win that game.
Um, so when every I see you guys, like the other team scores, I see you guys huddle up. Mm -hmm. what, what type of things do you guys talk about to like re reevaluate? Mm -hmm. Well, our um, values as a team are go, so it's growth, effort, attitude, unity and excellence. And we just really come together and reignite those core values that if we show effort and attitude, because ultimately they're the only things that we can control, if we put out a great effort and attitude in that moment, we will come back because we're, we're definitely talented as a team. I think this is one of the most talented teams at LSU that I've been on personally, and this is my fifth year. So, But talent, I mean, talent doesn't work hard unless you're working hard. And ultimately, this team have got talent and we have the mindset. So I, I, I truly believe that we can go the whole way.